Cleaning a central heating system is essential for its health and efficiency. A dirty central heating system is more likely to break down and can cost customers more on their energy bills. A power flush is the most effective way to thoroughly clean a dirty system. Today we'll cover how to tell if a system needs a clean and how to set up the power flushing machine. The next video in this series shows how to conduct the flush itself, so be sure to check that one out after this. So how do you know if a system needs a power flush? Here are some symptoms to look out for. Some rooms are colder than others. The system takes a long time to warm up. One or more radiators are cold at the bottom or at the top. Radiators need frequent bleeding or the boiler is noisy. There are also tools such as a turbidity tube or an infrared thermometer that can be used to check the health of the system. Protect your customer's floors by ensuring that you lay down sheets wherever you're trailing pipes that may be damp, dirty or dusty. Now a quick bit of setup. If the system is open vented, cap off the cold feed and expansion pipe. Couple the power flushing machine into the system. Connect the dump, water inlet and overflow hoses. Open all radiator and lock shield valves and set zone valves to manual position for full flow throughout the system. And that's it, you're ready to begin the flush. Be sure to check out the next video in this series which shows how to perform the power flush. For more information on best practice protection for heating systems, check out the Sentinel system of clean, protect, maintain at sentinelprotects.com.